Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the graph of y equals sine of x minus pi. We know that the standard form for sinusoids is y equals a plus b sine of c times x minus d, where a is the baseline, uh, b or rather the absolute value of B is the amplitude. C is two pi over the period. And D is the phase shift. Now we notice that this function is extremely close to the function Y equals sine X, which we have depicted here in red. Uh, the only difference seems to be that this one has a phase shift which the regular sine curve obviously does not. The regular sine curve starts at zero. This one is simply going to be shifted pi units to the right. Remember that with horizontal shifts when there's a minus here that's an actual shift to the right. So if you simply take the red graph which is the graph of sine and shift it pi units to the right, we're going to end up with the graph of y equals sine of x minus pi, the blue curve. Notice that instead of beginning at zero, this one starts its cycle at pi because it's exactly shifted pi units to the right. So um, one full cycle, instead of running between zero and two pi, is going to run between pi and obviously pi plus 2 pi which is 3 pi and that's what we see here 3 pi and everything else is the same notice the amplitude is the same uh, the b here is 1 and uh, it's also 1 here the baselines for both are going to be 0 because it's 0 plus sine of x minus pi this is 0 plus sine x so they have the same baseline the same amplitude and um, that's it so this one gets shifted pi units to the right and you get the graph that you desire and that's how you do those so be safe until our next video